There comes a time in every young-ish person's life when you're pushed to the edge and you have no choice but to ask, what did I do to deserve this? There's no answer. Like, I understand that I'm a fortunate being to have excellent foundational things, like a great family, a solid education, relatively good health, not including the constant sinus infections due to my deviated septum. I get it, I have that stuff. But, right now, you must admit, as you direct your cries to the powers that be, I feel like I'm being tested. Tested to see how much I can struggle. And personally, I want to know if there was something I did. Can you tell me? Cosmos are silent, and just when you're about to throw in the proverbial towel, soothing yourself with one day we will know what all of this suffering is for, hashtag check off, you hear. Second grade. What? In second grade, you kicked that boy in the crotch. Are you serious? That's the big thing that I did wrong? Who is this? You abandoned kindness. You gave in to sin. You were boy crazy, even then. Okay, first of all, I said some judgment. I was quite young and I didn't really know how to properly handle my emotions, which I still don't, but I was just trying to maintain autonomy under the heaving pressure of the male gaze that women today are faced with in this suffocatingly heteronormative society. Hello? Sorry, you kind of lost me there and then I got distracted. Couldn't tell if you were joking or not. Anyways, that's what it's for. Human pain. The struggle, if you will. All of that. Well, what do I have to do to overcome? Do I have to, like, repent? Is this God? Be kinder. Allow grace into your life. This is totally God. Okay. Grace is something that's really hard for me. I have very abysmal balance. Also, I am kind. What about the other day when- Okay, okay, that was an exception, Get out of the but- way! Hi, that's me. I'm Lucy. I'm graduating from college in less than two months and getting regurgitated into the real world. Oh, and I'm a theater major. God, you used my clumsiness against me. That's not fair. Ow. <laughs> Is her life going anywhere? Is she sad? Does she care? Where is she going? What is even happening? She doesn't know what she's doing. It's Lucy. Hi. Baby. Oh, how was it? This is Charlie. She is my best friend and best roommate. This is our house. Charlie is graduating also. Also, she is a theater major. We are all in this together. <laughs> well, I just sat on a very cold bus for a very long time and I fell into the dirt with my face and I think I'm losing my mind for good this time. So, oh no. Eat. How was your weekend? Well, I thought about going out and then I didn't, but I did get some homework done. And eventually went to bed and um, I'm gonna start my own online dating profile. Yeah, so I support that. You go, girl. How was the audition? Hello, ladies. I'd like to thank you all for coming out today. We really appreciate your interest in our drama program. Really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, now I want to get started right away. We're going to just do a movement exercise just to explore the space, the air, the atmosphere, your bodies this morning. Good? How does that sound? Good? Good. Okay, I'm going to ask everybody to start moving about the room. Uh, and I want to see moving like you're frolicking in a forest. Frolic. Forest. 
I can't believe they made me frolic to Wonderwall. Oof. Oof is right. And then there were all of these bougie actresses. Wow, he is such a genius. Deconstructing Wonderwall while simultaneously juxtaposing it with the baseness of frolicking. I'm internally weeping like I can't. Like, what if every day of your life was like this? What if every single day of my life was like this? Like, how euphoric can one person be? I can't. I agree, but I wish we had explored deeper into the soul before we did it. Like, we should have done more trust exercises. So in terms of like where I want to spend my next four years or whatever, I'm leaning towards a different school I auditioned for. Like, literally leaning and falling. I had us climb up to a catwalk and fall off of it into a net of human arms while reciting our classical verse piece. Wow, that must have been stunning to your senses. Personally, I'm all about communication through the instrument. In everything I do in my art, I aspire to be more like the infant I came into this world as because babies are unencumbered by shame, loss, insecurity, insufferable sadness, etc. And like, you know, babies can only cry and scream and crawl, so like, that's how I like to warm up most. What about you? What's your name? Let me guess what borough you're from. Hi, I'm Lucy. Um, I'm actually from the suburbs, so. How did you like the group warm up? Um, well, I really like the song, Wonderwall. I think it's fun. Um, it's a classic. And you know, I could really viscerally imagine the forest in which we were prancing about, so I think that's a good sign. You mean frolicking? Yes. Sorry. Go on. I love Shakespeare. The bard, um, and like a bard biddy. That's horrible. I'm sorry. Please forget that I ever said that. Um, but I really love his words. And um, when I was in the forest, I got really overwhelmed by the beauty of nature and I felt really inspired to go like yell a sonnet or no. something. No, sorry, not yell, I meant like use the right technique. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Um, are you exploring any texts right now? Am I in any shows? Not currently, but I am reading Waiting for Godot in one of my classes. Sammy B is my spirit animal. Yeah. Um, and I was thinking the other day in class about like whether it should be pronounced God O or like Gudu, and then I was like, does it even really matter? Oh my god, like life, right? Like, does life even matter? That is thrill. Really? I just think that so many more plays should have existentialist themes. Lucy, Lucy, could you do something for me? Sure. Could you just take a, a deep, deep, large breath from your core? Right now? Yes. Okay. Wow, wow. That was great. Thank you so much for allowing me to witness that. You're welcome. Thanks for coming in. Oh, that's all I need? Yep, that's all I need. Uh, it really communicates a lot. I feel like I've known you your whole life. Well, uh, thanks, kiddo. Uh, I'll be in touch. Thank you. <laughs>
at least you found out quickly. Like a band-aid. <laughs> Living the dream. Living the dream. What on earth am I gonna do after graduation? We'll be together! On the street. Maybe working. Maybe twerking. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Ned came by. Meh. I told him you moved to Australia like you wanted me to. Thank you. But then he said he saw you in the library. Lucy. This is Ned. I don't want to talk about it right now. Mmm, yeah, that did not happen. He totally has a lying problem. Ugh, I don't want to do my homework. 50 days, babe. 50? Today? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the audition today was so weird. It's just like, that school is supposed to train the best actors in the world. And I felt like I just didn't fit in there. Huh. Like, this is what I am supposed to be doing, this is what I want to do, but how am I supposed to do it? I just wish that, like, an audition announcement would fly through the open window, and then I would just get cast in the job. <laughs> or a thousand dollar bill. Is there even such a thing as a thousand dollar bill? I have no idea. Idea. Why don't you go look at your star chart? That always makes you feel better. There are so many discoveries to make. You're right. So many new things to discover. <laughs> hey, I love you. I love you too. As I was walking upstairs, I looked down at the delicious elixir in my hand. What if this has the answers? I drink like 30 bottles of this per week. Maybe it somehow has communicated with whoever is controlling my destiny and can tell me about my future. <gasps> Maybe there's a code. Okay. Okay. Yes. A code in the words. A code in the real facts. I heard one time that like 50% of Snapple's real facts are actually made up, which is weird because like who can you trust these days, you know? Okay. Focus. This is it. Snapple could be spelling out my destiny. Here we go. What the f-